Yeah, and ladies and gentlemen, Paisano Hero, Sao Paulo Tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sao Paulo. How are you, Paisano? I'm, I'm so happy to be joining the show. My debut on the Pat McAfee show with my brother Darius Butler from the NFL Matt. Hey, Matt hey here we go on the ESPN show. Hey, hey, relax, relax. I know, I know, I know. ESPN, <laughs> ESPN too. We're on ESPN a lot at Sao Paulo State. So I would like to let you know that I've been campaigning heavily for that matchup show to be put more we need to see more of it because uh -huh. how great the show is not going to say i watched as much of it before darius got on there but once d butch our guy gets on there we watch every week thank you for taking care of him thank you for the yeah, opportunity great, over here great here. program legit now paisano let's dive in here you're in you you killed five thousand people in the navy for the united yep. states of america because that's how we tell the story thank you Sal. thank you for your service thank you Sal. love you Sal. I was, it was an honor to serve, Pat. I was a surface warfare officer in the Navy, and I was blessed to be in peacetime my entire career in the Navy. So never fired a shot in anger at anybody, thank God. Okay, oh, yeah. hey, well, we like, hey, thank you for signing up saying you would, though. Yep. <laughs> if you had to, you would, which we appreciate. Let's talk about the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's talk about Saquon Barkley coming from the New York Giants to the Philadelphia Eagles. You lose Fletcher Cox, you lose Jason Kelsey, Kevin Byard's on his way out, Swift signs a deal uh, in Chicago for a bunch of money. The end of the year, full collapse. Hey, what the hell's going on? Can Nick Sirianni figure it out? Big Dom, another pie's on. Kicked off the field. Just a few years ago, we're the bell of the ball. We're going to the Super Bowl. Now, everybody needs to panic. You sign Saquon Barkley. You bring in Kellen Moore. You got Vic Fangio. What do you think the fans' reaction is to the first day of free agency in Philly and the state of the Eagles as a whole, boots on the ground over there in the Philadelphia area? Well, the fans are definitely happy about the signing of both Saquon Barkley and Bryce Hoff. And to me, I think the Eagles are the most fascinating team in the National Football League right now. You lose both coordinators, Pat, not only this year, but last year. For two straight years, mm -hmm. you lose both coordinators. You change coordinators. You've got professional athletes all over your show all the time. They'll tell you, and you know how difficult that is. It's unprecedented. Agreed. You're going into the season coming off a Super Bowl that you are down. You were up by 10 points at halftime. You lose by three points. You're up to 10-1 and one last year. Your quarterback's on an MVP track, and then everything collapses, and then you have to tear it down because you lose two of the core four. You lose Fletcher Cox, and you, and you lose Jason Kelsey. And so this is the most fascinating team in the National Football League. And Saquon, Saquon, you go back to his rookie year, Saquon Barkley with the New York Giants, his only year with a thousand yard receiver in Odell Beckham Jr., he had over 2,000 yards rushing. Now he comes to a team with two bona fide thousand yard receivers in Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown and an MVP level quarterback who's also a threat to run. Let's remember now when you have Jalen Hurts and you can run those zone reads and you can run those uh, RPOs and you got to account for Jalen Hurts. As a runner, you got to put a hat on Jalen Hurts on defense. You know, Pat, when you got that and you got the threat of a guy who, two guys who can stretch the defense, that means those safeties can't nose down freeze into the them. box. Mm -hmm. You got to absolutely, you got to freeze them, and then you let Saquon loose. So this is a good one-two punch. But they're not done. I don't think that they're done. The okay. best time that the Eagles ever had was when they had Thunder and Lightning, when they had Ricky Waters and Charlie Garner. They need a burner at running back. They need another speedster. And I think in the draft, either in undrafted free agent or in the draft, they'll go for somebody who can really light things up from the running back position, like Detroit did. That's what, why Detroit was so successful in the running game last year, is they had thunder and lightning with Detroit with a great offensive line. And the Eagles' offensive line, Pat, remember, was number one in the league in run win rate, run block win rate. Now you lose Kelsey, Cam Jurgens comes in. He's been taught by the best, Jeff Stoutland. Everybody knows Stoutland University is the best in the National Football League. What do you got to do? You got to go into Novacare. You got to plug in those double A-gap blitzes that Zimmer used to run in Minnesota and say this is what they're going to run in Dallas. Let's study all the double A-gap blitzes and oh, let's yeah. block them up. 
and then run against the Dallas Cowboys. That's what you got to do. All right, so double barrel is what we got to prepare for for Zimmer, obviously. And whenever you talk about Saquon having weapons outside to free the box up and the freezing from Jalen Hurts with the RPOs, it does feel like they have the offense fixed. Now, speaking of the offense, you lose Shane Steichen, thank God. Mm-hmm. He <laughs> comes to the Colts. Stud. Thank God. Woo. We got him. But whenever you have success, these types of things are going to happen. You're going to get poached. You're going to lose some of your guys. The Eagles suffered from that. How Sirianni's kind of – um, respect level around Philadelphia because we love them. Mm-hmm. We see we them do. walking through the tunnel after a game screaming, Yeah, F you! But he didn't say F. Yeah. yeah you you know, like that? You yeah, like that? Yeah, he does stuff that like <laughs> players do. Sirianni's doing things that no coach really does. Now, we have told, we have been told that potentially Big Dom being removed from the sideline as Sirianni's little Italian tag team partner kind of keeping him a little bit level head had a bigger impact than people could imagine. But Sirianni, I know he came in with the less thinky, more athlete takeovery than the manure and the seeds and the flowers. And I think everybody was kind of mocking him. Then, boom, that team's culture becomes a real one. After last year with the collapse, now having to find two new coordinators, his coordinators that he hired last year did not work out. What are the thoughts of Eagles fans on Sirianni? And how big of a leash do we have? What, is, what has to happen next year, you think, without Eagles fans, you know, going absolutely bananas, which they are a very level-headed bunch. What, what is next year's expectations on Sirianni, you think? Well, man, oh, man, Pat, there's so much to unpack there. Let's get to it. Number one. I want you to send a memo over to Darius Butler that after year two on the matchup show, we're going to dial back the Indianapolis Colts on the show because all I get all year long is the Colts this and the Colts that, the Colts this and the Colts that on the show. We're going to just send a little email to Darius. We're going to dial it back. I'm doing it right here on national TV. Sal, Shane Spikin's out there. Going to be less Shane Steichen. Going to be less Richardson. Going to be less all of that. We're not going to focus that much on the call. As as you know, Pat, I was always there in Indy when you guys were big, and I enjoy going to Indianapolis. I love that Coming JW back. Marriott. Mm-hmm. I love Lucas Oil Stadium. Yeah. I love Tony Dungy. I love all of it. Okay, going to be a little less, a little time. less of it. Yeah, that's a long time <laughs> ago. A hey, wait till you see what Shane's doing this year with Anthony Richardson. Oh, look yeah. out. oh Oh my God, Sal. He'll break it down. Uh-huh. He much will break it down Every on a match. I can't wait to week. see it. But yeah, we're all the but way remember, back. Listen, the other thing is with you know, if if you're a head coach, and I love Big Doc, but if you're a head coach and you need your head of security to be the one that runs the team and keep it <laughs> keeps it on track. Whoa. Uh, you need to give Big Dom a big pay raise right there. I'm just oh, yeah. saying. We don't know what Big Dom's making. I think he's got Gucci glasses on. <laughs> yeah. I'm not 100% put, sure. Put an extra zero on Big Dom's paycheck, all right? And by Forget the way, whatever Nick Sirianni is saying in South Philadelphia, we call that the international symbol for peace, okay? Okay. Okay, Pat? Yeah, I like that a lot. How do we feel about him, though? What is the expectation? He's got to win, right? I mean, that has to happen. That's like his life now, right? Because you get to the Super Bowl, here's expectations. We're the Philadelphia Eagles. Our fan base has been starving, obviously, whenever Carson, Big Richard, and Doug Peterson win. And then we get back to it. It's like, and then the collapse happens, and there is those antics. Is Philly still behind Nick Sirianni? What are your thoughts on that? Do you think they're still behind I think Philly is they're still behind Nick Sirianni, but I'll say it. Nick Sirianni's on the clock. Every head coach in the NFL is on the clock, but mm-hmm. Nick Sirianni certainly is. Fourth year of a five-year deal. You bring in an old hand, Vic Fangio. You bring in an experienced guy to run the offense, Kellen Moore. you got to let those guys do their job. But, you know, I mentioned losing two of the core four, Fletcher Cox and Jason Kelsey. Still got Brandon Graham. Still got the man, Lane Johnson. But it's time for Jalen Hurts and Nick Sirianni to step into the leadership breach left by those two guys leaving, Cox and Kelsey, as particularly Jason Kelsey, particularly Jalen Hurts. Got to step into the breach, into the leadership breach. That's why you bring in Saquon Barkley. You bring in a little bit of that veteran leadership. And, you know, I know Saquon very well. He's level-headed. He's going to help out Jalen Hurts in that aspect as well as the offense. But it, Again, it comes back to Cam Jurgens and Jeff Stoutland. You got to have somebody that's going to call that protection. You got to be somebody on the field that's going to calm everything down. I think Jurgens can do that. 
But nobody can replace Jason Kelsey. Nobody. Can Got it. Him. Last question here from D. Butch. Yeah, that is a big loss in leadership. And uh, obviously, J- uh, Jalen Hurts, especially after getting paid, you come in there, you go to the Super Bowl, you have that collapse at the end of the year. I know there's a lot of questions outside of that locker room about his leadership. And even, you know, the OC or, uh, or Brian Johnson or now it's Kelly Moore. How do you see that going forward with Jalen Hurts? I know you got a, a good pulse of that locker room. Do you see him being that guy that can step up and I guess be a little more of a vocal leader as opposed to his natural, I guess, kind of from the outside looking in at least stoic self? Well, DB, you know, the one thing that you don't want to do, in fact, you and I have talked about this mm. in the green room at NFL Films. Green room. You can't oh. be somebody you're not. Yep. Right? You cannot be outside your personality. Then fellas will be like, okay, what's going on? Mm-hmm. You know, uh, uh, you know, it's not sincere. It's not true to yourself. So I have always admired Jalen Hurts, you know, in my opinion, unprecedented level of work ethic and single-minded vision uh, in the classroom, in the meeting rooms, on the field, on the practice field, on in the, the field, barber chair, so focused uh, in the barber chair. <laughs> but now he has to express himself in ways that a Jason Kelsey did. Are you taking control emotionally of the football team? And I think he's capable of doing that. He's a very adaptable young man, obviously coached by a coach, his father, yep. uh, and Nick Sirianni, the same deal. These two guys, I think, will adapt to the circumstances they've been given. They got a lot of talent. As I said at the beginning of this show, Pat, on the, uh, my first appearance on the Pat McAfee, McAfee show. Nailed Thank it. you so much Nailed for having it. me no on problem. the show, man. Nailed. Thank Nailed. you so much. But if I, as I said at the beginning, this is the most fascinating team in the NFL right now. Hey, you're one of the most fascinating humans in history mm-hmm. to cover sports. Everybody likes you. That's not normal. No. That doesn't happen, especially with how long you've been around. I think it's because you're an incredibly honorable paisan. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Sal Palantonio. Yeah, Thank yeah, you, yeah, Sal Palantonio. Hey.